Hi there, Unity users. Today we're going to look at the SB SAR files. And uh, many people don't really know how to use them. And you see a lot of complaining. Well, not a lot, but you see some complaining about people acquiring these files. These are usually not free. However, in the asset store, you are able to find several collections that are free. There's multiple in some files. Anyway, when you acquire one of these, you get example like these. You can see there's one called methodflaw.sbsar. And uh, that's basically the texture. However, it's not really just a texture. It's a substance, and it's going to generate textures for you. So let's see how that's done. I'm working on a scene right here. And uh, you can see I need to texture this area or add a material to it if you want. And uh, I have some of these substances right here. We're just going to browse right to them. And you can see you can open them up. Sometimes they will take a second to load. But when you open them up, <clears throat> you see different textures. And some people just use these. Well, <laughs> that's fine, but that's the diffuse and spectacular map and it's been generated from that file and and i will now show you how to generate these textures so after you imported one of these into your product you will get one of these circle on it looks like materials because materials have these circles shaders have these uh, pieces of paper and uh, sky blocks are, sky blocks are different but you will have these circles here so you'll just click one of them and you think okay what's the big deal i have one up here and you can see in my examples i have several and they are different in one and i'll show you how to make them this is called metal floor this is not standard yellow that's because i used it right here so i modified it to my needs and let's take a look. We have these textures you can see right here. So I'm just going to make something completely different so you can see the difference. So we're going to take the spaceship one. I'm sure you've seen it in the asset store. You can see it right here. It looks like this. Very nice. And uh, the way you use it is simply you open it up by clicking it once. Then click around this area if there's nothing here. Voila. Okay. These two images you should not edit. Shininess, well, that's really up to you. But before we start editing anything, let's take a look in this area first. Here you have these two are connected to the same file called Spaceship uh, SBSAR. So if I right click here and show and explore, you'll get this. And you can see there is only one, it's this file right here. SBSAR. And uh, now I want the new one, so I'm just going to hit the plus sign right here. And it's going to generate the default from the original texture. So even if all of these are colored or modified in some way, just hit the plus sign, adds a new one, minus removes one, duplicate. Okay. So let's just name this completely different. So their name spaceship. Let's just call this test fun there we go and we have one called test fun now actually you can now use this to uh, apply to anything in the editor and you can see i'm using pro builder so if i were to edit this area right here you can see well i can't drag this over because there's three in there and when i open this well i could pull this over but you can actually select them right here as as if they were uh, made like that. So you can see test fun, it's right there. Test fun. And I'm just gonna apply it to the whole area. Apply. There we go. So that's the basics of it. Okay. But I'm unhappy with how it looks. So I can just click this one, click first down here, click the file once, then click the globe I'm using right now, that's test fun. And I can directly edit things right here, and they will change on the fly everywhere I have applied this. 
So let's see, block density. And you can see the texture is going crazy over there. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. So let's seems seems better. Big blocks, yeah. The color, well, I'm using sort of a darkish brown right now, sort of a tungsten color. So let's just keep doing that. Panels density, well, actually. For your sake on YouTube, I'm going to keep it a light color. So there we go. And each of these files comes with a different set of modifiers. You can see we have these pipe density. That's the lines weapon ready. That's on or off. So you can add some sort of structure. Well, it's of course, of course also called a spaceship. So depth. That's shadow, as you can see. It might be hard to, but if you look down here, take a look at these and I'll adjust the slide. You can see the changing ever so slightly. <clears throat> and these small adjustments are very important if you're making something in very high detail. And you <laughs> can get many different, so all you have to do is really just play around with it. Oh, yeah. Now it almost looks like a circuit board. So maybe we should uh, go green instead. Sort of a darker green, there we go. <laughs> Hue, well, that's just a drastic color change if you really <laughs> feel like fun. Okay, but there's another thing, and it's probably even more important, so let's see. I'm very unhappy with this, so I'm just going to delete it. Oh, it turned purple. Well, okay, that's okay. We're just going to apply another texture to it. I think we have one called sci-fi. Yeah, that gate. So, And uh, you might want to edit the size of your texture. These scaling options are basically the same as tiling down here. And don't worry about me using this thing. But if I were to create something very large, so you can see it's very large. This is a bad example. So let's take uh, the spaceship hull because I don't think I have that generated. So it looks kind of shitty. As you can see, that's not good. You get people complaining about texture sizes are terrible and such things. So a way to fix that is, uh, well, let's open the spaceship and we're using this one. At the bottom, there's something called target width and height. It's 512 right now. Let's just change it to 1024. And when I hit apply, pay attention to this area right here. I'm hitting apply now. There you go. And you can see the instant detail update. Let's just uh, run a decent setting. There we go. <clears throat> And you get the beautiful texture as you had when it was small. However, now it's very large and it still looks great. <laughs> that is what the SB, sorry, SF, SBSAR files are for, to generate really amazing textures. And you can get them in all sorts. You can see I got this. This one is special. Let's say I create a new one. We call this uh, test metal floor. This is special. It's it's actually free. This one. So let's just uh, apply it to the entire thing here. There we go. You can see. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, I agree. But the. Uh, that's not what we are going to look at right now. So let's just change that to five, five, there we go. So you can see that another line, but that's something you have to work with on your own. Anyway, right now it's a diamond plate thing. However, some of these files actually allows you to change the, the texture. You can see it's basically made up of a few textures and you can see pattern type. Again, it's different. 
because it's a different uh, substance. So I can choose pyramids. I get these things, rivets. Yeah. So, <laughs> excuse me. Imagine yourself, you need a crossbar and you just want rivets. You can set this to a 45 degree angle and you'll get this line of rivets right here. That's very nice. Diagonal plates. How about that? Squares and diamond plate. You can see that's rust. Nothing. A lot. Depth, shadow, and size. Normal. Keep an eye out down here where there's light, of course. You can see a lot of settings that really makes this amazing. An age. That's something that's preset from the designer. You can check that out. Sort of rusty old look. Looks great. And of course the color. Hue. These are general as always. But it's nice to have them anyway. Because when you are building dark hallways like I am, I, I kind of like to adjust the contrast and saturation a bit. And that's basically your SBSR files. And uh, you can really see how valuable they are. It's just not a texture. Of course, it will generate the texture. And you can see, because I changed the things up here, I'll get this new texture. but. That's not one. You also get a mat material right here, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah, that's my Danish interfering with my English. But yeah. So, number one file to use SBSAR. And if you have seen this video, you have no excuses not to use the file because they are really amazing. And the developers who are giving them away for free is crazy because. <laughs> You can create something really great looking and you can adjust the size on the fly. You don't have to use a image editor to adjust it or anything. And even if you use an image editor, you might get stretched images. So it doesn't really help. Using uh, SBSAR files, you won't get these weird stretched looks and um, as if you were scaling it. So yeah, thumbs up for that. And uh, if you have any comments, please write them below in the comment section. I have not disabled it. Thank you, and a rating will be appreciated. See you next time. Bye.